Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Victoria 2 with Greece. Last episode, Austria was kind enough to give us some of our cores back in a wonderful crisis war. And now, well, we have increasing tension over here. We're kind of hoping for another crisis, but I don't know if the great powers really want to get into another crisis war right now. You know what? I, I hope they do, but eh, not going to hold my breath. If it happens, it happens. What I'm more interested in, well, it's not true. I'm very interested in the crisis wars. But uh, what seems more likely is uh, France may try to pull us out of Britain's sphere. That would be nice. Go, France, go. Oh. The war of the Pacific is over. Chile has won. Bolivia, no more coast for you. Yeah. Take that, Bolivia. <gasps> and it's crisis time. Man, that was fucking quick. 50.3. They're like, fuck it. Let's just do it. All right. Give me the crisis. Give me the crisis. Who, who's going to back who? They're asking their ally, Netherlands, right? Yeah. Netherlands did not back them. Britain did not back them. No, Nobody's going to back them. Nobody's going to back... Oh, for fuck's sake. Eh, it's okay. Alright, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. No one's going to back us. No one's going to back anyone. They're like, fuck it. There's no crisis. No crisis. No crisis. And that does mean we're going to lose some of our tension. We're already down to 36. 35. Okay. So, we lost down to 35. Oh, no, it went down to zero. Oh. Well, that sucked. Maybe we should go for Cyprus instead. Sure. We'll switch over to Cyprus. There you go. Enjoy the crisis tension. Yeah. Man, I hate that it, I hate that it goes back to zero, but eh, what choice do you have? Anywho, continue on. We just got three states. We can't be upset. Okay, I'm a little upset. <laughs> Just a wee bit. Ah, stupid crisis. How are we doing on tension anyway? Oh, there's some tension in Albania. Okay. Anything over here? Nah. Any more tension? Nope. Oh, Albania's actually going pretty quick. Albania's at uh, 18%. Wow, way faster than us. Look at that. It's at 21%. 22. Wow, we're at 7%. Well, we might be seeing an Albanian crisis pretty soon here. Do we have cores on there? I don't think so we do. No, we don't. But if they get spat out... Oh, man. If this was EU4, the moment they get spat out, I would just be like, War! But this isn't EU4, is it? No. Sad day. I'm going to give Austria a little thank you hand job there. Diplomatic hand job for helping us in that war. I appreciate it. Oh, and the YouTube comments had suggested to fund our military as much as possible, and that might encourage people to join the military. That sounds like a good plan. Oh, look! Apparently, the War of the Pacific was not enough, so Chile's like, fuck you, Peru. Yeah, Chile's got cores up here, and he also has a core up here, so he may go for two of Peru's states in this war. We'll see. Brazil's going to join him, presumably. Yep, he did. Good luck, Chile. Oh my god, the tension. They're at 70 tension. Whoa, look at that tension fly. Holy fuck. Albanian liberation movement. Huh. I don't know if I've ever seen Albania in this game before. Well, looks like we're going to see them, unless nobody backs them. 90% tension. I think I know which which thing's going to trigger. Pretty sure I know which one's going to trigger. That one. That's a lot of tension. Oh, there's tension up here as well. The Polish Liberation Movement. Well, Poland wants to separate from North Germany. Oh, and there's Bulgarians as well. Interesting. Well, we're getting some tension spread around, but it's all Ottoman tension. Oh, Venezuela has surrendered Zulia to Colombia. Oh, congratulations, Colombia. Remember, Venezuela declared war for Antioquia, so he lost that war and he lost some land. Sucks to be you, Venezuela. Venezuela. If that is your real name. Crisis averted. Yeah, screw you and your crisis averted. I was hoping to get actual stuff out of that crisis. Stupid newspaper. You don't know what it's like. Getting relations up with Senor Austria. Why not? And we should probably also get relations up with Senor Germany, because he don't like me right now. 
Not that he should like me, but it'd be better to be somewhere above the negatives. Not a fan of the negatives. I mean, we're pretty good with the France, the Britain, the Russia, uh, even Austria. Spain's okay with us, too. Yeah, most nations like us. Even Germany likes us. I mean, not Germany. Even Denmark likes us. Why not? And holy hell, how is this crisis not happening? They're at 95 tension in Albania. The crisis just... Oh, and it's melting away. Woof. What happened? How did they get to 100% crisis, 100% tension, and then it didn't happen? Hmm. I don't know, but uh, Cyprus is 34 and climbing. And we're getting some more of our tax. We need to get down to nationalism and imperialism for colonizing reasons. It must happen. Vaccination, very good. Some of these inventions are just amazing. There's no anti-vax movement in Victoria. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ooh. Paraguay has won Alto Paraguay from Bolivia. Wow. Nice job, Paraguay. That's a big Paraguay. You can see Chile and Bolivia. Chile and Brazil invading Argentina down here. The Blight of 1853. Spare no effort to help them, of course. Means we lose prestige, but um, two prestige is not a big deal. We're still a secondary power. I can handle that. And our tension is climbing while Albania is still lowering. Ooh. Britain's trying to establish a protectorate on Sikkim, which is a one county minor. Why do you care, dude? It's a one county minor. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. He just took nine infamy for a one county minor. What a waste. They have 11k people with wool. I mean, you're crazy, Britain. You are fucking crazy. Did I mention that Britain's crazy? They're crazy. Can someone please remove me from this crazy man's sphere of influence? I'm going to get a cavalry. Hmm, cavalry. So far, people seem to be correct that funding the military fully is the best way to get people into the uniform. Essentially, they get paid better, then they can work. Or then they can afford the necessities of life, which I guess is important for people. You know, living. Kind of important. Oh my god, can we please get Crisis going, please? Yes, we did it! As soon as we hit 50 tension, we got Crisis. Wow, and why are they just ignoring Albania? Albania has been up to 100 and it's back down to 80, but that's way higher. Than Whatever, I can't complain. Alright, Crisis time. Slow down time. Who's going to join me? Who's going to join me? Well, who's going to join the Ottomans? That's a big question. Netherlands is not going to help their ally. Britain's not going to help their... their. Okay. No one's going to help the Ottomans again? Oh, man. If no one helps the Ottomans, then who's going to help the Ottomans? No one. All right. So there's no crisis then. Shit. There goes all of our crisis points. I guess we'll go to the military. Support soldiers. Damn it, no one is backing the Ottomans. Oh well. No crisis. No crisis. Yep, no crisis. Alright, so the tension's gone. Yep, tension's back to zero. And Albania's tension also gets reset to zero. Uh, maybe I should just did not maybe I should just not focus on the crisis right now. Maybe I should just wait for the truce to go and then we can declare war or something. Hmm, two years is not that long. Ooh, look at that. Russia wants an alliance. They're almost a great power again. Ooh, baby. That is close. Look at that. Negative seven. I wonder if they'll change their tune. If we get them, and uh, we declare war on the Ottomans, oh, we'll be sitting pretty. Negative seven. And there goes the UK for Sikkim. Like, it's only one county, but we want it. We want it. Fucking crazy, Brits. Oh, right, right, right. Let's see if we can afford a new factory. East Macedonia has no factories. Oh, the only thing we can afford is cement. I kind of wanted to get something like a regular clothes factory. Hmm. Or a liquor factory might be nice as well. How much is a liquor factory? 10,000. Okay, well, we'll wait for 10,000 pounds then. 
Hey, our cavalry is done. Good. And the UK has annexed Sikkim. Wow, congratulations for spending nine infamy for one county with 11,000 people. You really are the cream of the crop, Britain. Your priorities are straight. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, why couldn't we get that crisis? Why couldn't we get that crisis? Hmm. I would also like to declare on Egypt at some point here. To go get uh, Crete. We have cores down there too. But that's lower priority. That's just kind of an afterthought. I would love to get it, but eh, if we don't, we don't. Relations with Austria, please. I'm going to keep lowering my relations with the Netherlands. You know what? I'm going to lower my relations with Britain as well. Probably going to break our alliance with them. Oh, we're so close. In fact, I think we could get an alliance with uh, Russia if we break our alliance with Britain. So that's what we'll do. Russia is not the best ally in the world. But uh, in this case, they're better than Britain. There we go. They're better than Britain because they will actually help us in a war against the Ottomans. Whereas Britain will probably just sit back and do nothing. Thank you, Russia. You're not a great power yet, but you're a great power in my heart. Right? Ooh, France is awfully close to an alliance as well. If I could get both of them. Or maybe Austria. Oh, they're close. Oh, come on. Hmm. Well, they're both really close. Germany's way off, right? 79. Germany, not going to happen. Spain, maybe. Hmm, possible. They will... But Spain's so weak. They won't even be a great power anymore. What's the point? Ooh, negative 10. What happened? Ally of ally. He likes that. He likes the opinion. He likes the relations. The political considerations are good. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's keep pissing off the Netherlands because... Screw you. The more we piss off the Netherlands, the more likely they are to help the Ottomans in a war against us, since they're allies. But, you know, it's still kind of up in the air on whether that would even be possible. Declare war! Who would join me? Russia has a truce until August of next year. So we'll have to wait at least a year. But that might be the time for war. If Russia joins us, then it's just a simple war against Portugal and the Netherlands. and Like, whatever. Even if the Netherlands takes over leadership, their ally is Austria. I'm pretty sure Russia can beat Austria. Pretty sure. Not 100% guaranteed sure, but pretty sure. The other possibility is we might be able to get an alliance over here. No? Maybe France? Ally of ally and all that jazz? No, still negative nine. Come on, France. We can't get relations any higher. Infamy. Britain, get out of here. No alliance for you, Britain. Get out of here. Infamy can keep dropping, though. We could build up our military and our navy. That might be a good idea, actually. But I don't think building the navy is a good idea right now. We don't really have the capability to build any good ships. So if we built up the navy now, it'd be crappy ships. We just have to delete them later on. I'm not sure if I want to commit to deleting that. <sighs> we'll see. We shall see. Any crisis points anywhere? Yeah, Serbia's got a little bit of crisis going. 6% tension. But that's about it. No one else has any. Aha! Brazil wants land from Argentina. Yes, they do. This is Chile's war against Peru, but Brazil wants land from Argentina. How's the war going? 6%. Well, you can do better than that. Uh, oh, wow. They've destroyed most of, the, most of Argentina and Peru's army. So, yeah, if they stay in that war long enough, they're going to they're gonna destroy these clowns. And he only has 11 infamy, so he can actually make more demands. And Chile probably has no infamy. Yeah, none. So they can both make extra demands over here. I would not be surprised if they did that. South America. Interesting place, man. In this game. Holy crap. Because they all start with tiny little cores on each other. Not like full state cores, but just one county. But if you have a core on one county, you can demand the whole state. For no infamy. You always have that CV. I'll put the speed back up. Do we have any red shirts yet? Looks like not yet. 
Unless they're down here? No? Nah, there's no red shirts yet. I don't know when they're going to start showing up, but when they do... Oh, what the fuck? Chile white piece? What? Chile white piece? Dude, you guys were destroying them. What the fuck? What the hell, Chile? You moron. That was your war. He's like, oh, war is hard. Uh-oh. Autumn's declared war on Egypt. Ooh. Oh, this is good. This is my t this is my chance to get in here and take Crete. Okay. Okay, so Persia joined. Now, the Ottomans have a big navy, right? 27 ships versus 10 ships. Okay, yeah, this is, this is good. Okay, let's get on the boats. On the boat! Here comes the Ottomans' navy. Come on, Ottomans. And you're going to go sail out and find them? Yes, he is. All right, so he's sailing away from us. Uh, oh, build my factory. Right, where's my factory? Liquor, yeah, do it. Nice. Okay. We're going to declare war for Crete. Give me that shit. You know, do I want to go for anything else? I think we need to let our infamy go down. I'd rather... I'd rather just get our cores for now. Damn, what a silly thing to say. But it's true. Can I get an alliance anywhere first? Before we do anything crazy stupid? No, but that's awfully close. No, but that's awfully close. Alright, we'll go for relations then. And we'll declare war. Sorry, Egypt. You gotta die. And uh, Russia could help. But I think we're better off just going it alone. See what we can do here. Slow down time a bit. Hmm. So the Ottomans are at war with Egypt. That's a good distraction for us. And Ethiopia declared war on Egypt. Everyone's going for Egypt. They're like, fuck it, why not? Crisis averted. Screw you, crisis aversion system. This is an aversion of the crisis network. If this had been a real crisis, this, this beep would have been followed by an important message from our sponsor. Cornflakes. Well, we took a brief amount of loans there, but we've paid them back. We're actually running a hefty profit right now. Maybe we should raise our uh, education funding a bit. Or no, let's raise the admin funding a bit. Can we do that? 60%? Let's go to 70. Let's raise the education to 80. Ah, oh, let's just go fucking nuts here. Look at that. We're still making a profit. Nice. I like that. Good, good, good. Oh, wow. These sieges are really quick. There must be, like, no fort there. Onward. Oh, Persia did not join the war. Persia broke his alliance with Egypt. That's why Ethiopia declared. Fair enough. Now, we're not supplying our ships or our soldiers, so we may at some point want to pay for that. But I'm a cheap ass, and I like money, so we may not pay for that shit. We'll see. Oh, there you go. Brazil has pieced out Argentina's... Argentina's. By taking Corrientes, this state over here. Eh, not a whole lot to it. But it's a state, right? And Chile fucking pussied out. Chile, what a disappointment you are. Oh, wow, we can recruit some more dudes. Great. Uh, I think I'll take one more cav. And let's get a cannon. Cannons are good. They're expensive to upkeep, but eh, they're, good, they're good stuff. They fight well. The cavalry is more for just sieging lands. All right, so we have the target province. Uh, they should give us whatever we want. We're only demanding three war score. And I think if we blockade them a bit, they may just peace out. No. Hmm, I only have two war score. What about if we split up? I said split up. Blockade the fuck out of these fucks. There we go. Hmm. We have four war score. We're only offering three. And uh, he says no. Okay. Well. I know how to deal with you. Send some troops over. 
This might be a little dumb. It takes a long time to get onto a boat from the shore. But we are keeping the blockade up, and he may just roll over and surrender. Who knows? I'd rather not have to siege him down, especially since I'm not funding my troops. I mean, I'm paying their wages, but I'm not giving them any supplies. So I don't know what kind of quote-unquote food they're eating while they're over here in Egypt, but uh, maybe they're just living off the land. All right? Okay, naval bases are finishing. Good, good. We built some naval bases in uh, Asia, Africa, and those places. Getting ready for the whole colonization rush that'll happen in 15 years. Hopefully this will end quickly and we can see if we can declare on the Ottomans while we have our ally Russia. Russia. Hey, Francie Pants, you want an alliance? He's like, no, you're at war. Yeah, negative 204 because we're at war. <laughs> That's okay. Kind of surprised he won't peace out. I mean, I'm just asking for three war score. He's like, no. Besides, I have cores on those lands. Let's speed up quickly and see if we can get this done. I am concerned that uh, the Ottomans might get too strong if they take a lot of this land here. But we'll have to see, won't we? Ooh, exotic fauna. From the Congo Basin to the deepest fathoms of the Bengal, from the jungles of India to the coasts of Java, scientific taxonomy is making new advances daily. The idea is interesting, but it might be expensive. Research points plus 2% until the end of the game. Or lose militancy. Oh, fuck, I'll take the extra research points. Holy shit, yes. Museum of Natural History. Nice. War between Greece and Egypt. Yeah, but they kind of had it coming, man. They have my cores. Just like they have Ottoman cores. They should have known this was going to happen. Having someone else's cores? That's living dangerously. Uh-oh. Ottomans are making demands. Lots of demands. Netherlands is going to go annex Atje. Kind of expected that to happen. Okay, there goes Alexandria. Move on to Tanta. How are we doing on war score? We're at uh, six war score. They still won't accept it. We have double the war score that we need for the peace deal, and he says no. I'm like now, stubborn son of a bitch. Oh, we're getting attacked. Uh oh. Now oh, we're winning. It's fine. I think we're winning. Yeah, we won. We took some damage there, though. Holy shit. Peace now. Nope. Interesting. Uh, okay. Siege whatever. wonder if he's focusing his army on Ethiopia. Probably. Because I haven't seen just that one unit. And he just ran away from me. How long is that going to take? A long ass time. Mm, I thought it would tell you how long it's supposed to take. Oh, there you go. 1858. That's not that bad. Mission to civilize. Ah, there we go. Life rating minus 10. Colonial prestige. Diplomatic points. Very nice. So how close are we to actually colonizing stuff then? Okay, we have mission to civilize. Now we need the guns. All right, so we don't have <laughs> we don't have the guns, and machine guns don't unlock for another fifteen years. Okay, but we have the other techs all ready to go. Good. So if we check our colonial map mode, well, you can see we you can see what's in our range, uh, but that's about it. Yeah, there's nothing with that. There's nothing in our range that we can actually colonize because oh, we need machine guns. Wow, look at Ethiop Ethiopia go. They're walloping Egypt. Yeah, they want Eritrea. Of course they do. Can I have peace yet? Come on. Nope. Stubborn, Egypt. Stubborn. 
I really want to see if we can get this war with the Ottomans going. Because, fuck the Ottomans, right? If we can get Russia to help us in this war? Holy crap. Russia says impossible. Even though our truce is up, he says it's impossible to declare war. Why? Why is it impossible, Russia? How goes the whole sphering thing? Mm. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. How goes the whole sphering thing? Uh, Britain's cordial, but no one's friendly. Hmm. Okay. Crete is ours! Woo! And it looks like... Yeah, we're okay. Crete is ours! Fabulous. Now, we, kill, we could build a naval base here, but Chios already has a naval base. So I'm hoping we can just get Chios through a crisis. That would be ideal. One thing to... One important note, though, is you can't actually have a crisis trigger while one of the two nations is at war. So if I'm at war, a crisis won't trigger. If the Ottomans are at war, a crisis won't trigger. So we kind of need both of us to be at peace. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't start getting the tension, because their war won't last that long. So yeah, let's start getting the tension again. Go for the Aegean Islands. Yeah. Make it rain. There goes the Netherlands into Atje. That's fine. Nicest thing about this war is we never paid our troops. We never gave them any supplies, and it didn't matter. They still did just fine. I applaud you, troops. You have fought well. All right, so Egypt is no longer holding our territory. They don't like us that much, but that's not my problem. France, still, negative three doesn't want an alliance. Damn it, France. Austria, super close as well. Let's get some relations up there. We already have our alliance with Russia. What about North Germany? You guys want some buddy-buddy? Well, we'll work on it. I kind of want to keep Europe uh, close, but not too close. And I want to get rid of my relationship with the Netherlands, because I don't like that they like me. I want them to back the Ottomans in the crisis. If we can do that, that'd be great. I'm going to rename our first army here to uh, Operation Kick-Ass. There we go. Yeah. Still have our troops in Africa. They're doing fine. We might want to go pick them up, though. Hmm. Well, reason to leave them here is if we go to war with the Ottomans, we'll be at war with Portugal. But having these lands sieged up by Portugal probably doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it's probably more in our interest to uh, pick up these clowns. Do we need all these ships? No. Okay, we'll leave the injured guy at home. And the rest of you... Oh, shit. I hit the balance button. And the rest of you shall sail. We have access through France, right? Okay, sail there. Oh, we don't have access through France. I thought we did. Access? Oh, I don't have a diplomat. Um... Well then, how about you chill over there, and then we'll take a look at getting access in France. Okay, Egypt has pieced out Ethiopia, so now he's going to focus on the Ottomans, but it shouldn't take the Ottomans very long to get their demands. Tensions at five and a half. It's going to take a long time. Hmm. How goes our factory? 300 days. That's going to take a while. Those factories take forever to build. You know what we could do, though, are some uh, railroads, which cost 2,300 pounds each. That's a little pricey. Not that we can't afford it, but uh, we wouldn't be able to build very many of them. Netherlands wants access. How about you suck my balls? I need to piss off the Netherlands some more. Ah, here we go. France, can I have access? Dude, we won't take an alliance. He also won't give access. God damn, just give me all... Fine. We'll sail on our own. How about we get access from Denmark? Oh, he wants an alliance. How about access? No. I don't want alliance, though. I just want access. Fuck. Hmm. Ah, access from Britain. Perfect. Great. Okay, that means we can drop you off over there. 
and then over here, and then dun 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 right there, and then over here, and then up there. Looks good. More troops? Yeah. Uh, Dar es Salaam. I'm just a regular old. No, get another cannon. Cannons sound good. Oh, another one. Whoa. Oh, from Tunisia. Okay. Well, just a regular soldier is fine. So this whole fancy plan of actually paying my troops is paying off. We're getting some soldiers now. But you know what? We're out of time for this episode today. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Crete is once again under proper Greek control. And we're increasing tension for the Aegean Islands over here. I really hope we can get a crisis going to get that shit back. That would be fantastic. But uh, that'll have to wait till next time. I will see you then. Have a good day.